This is a Fate 52 production. All rights reserved 2023. Hi, welcome to So Basic with a Little Extra. If we haven't met yet or you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Anna Zugeri, and my mission for this podcast is to share a basic story to give you a little extra inspiration, a little extra encouragement, or an extra laugh. Hello, today I'm sharing a short basic story because guess what? My week has not been that basic. I had an extra powerful migraine since Tuesday that put me in bed for about 24 hours. It's not fun, but thank God I'm feeling much better. But I was not able to record and release my usual episode on Tuesday. Don't worry, it's being crafted and it will be released next Tuesday. It's going to be worth your while. So stay tuned for that. By the way, here's the extra lesson I learned. I always tell my content creator friends, batch, 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 batch. In case you have a bad migraine and you can show up, you got content. So friends, so do as I say and not as I do. (laughs) Anyway, um, here is my short but hopefully encouraging basic story. And by the way, it's raining here in Houston. Thank God, you know, because we needed the rain. But you might hear a little bit of background noise because it's thundering. Okay, here we go. So I live in Houston in the suburbs of Houston, Texas. Our city has grown tremendously in the last couple of years. Sometimes I feel like it takes an hour to get to Houston from Houston. With all the development that is happening in our area, I rarely have the need to drive downtown or closer to the city. I joke sometimes saying that I like to stay in my bubble. It's important to grow, learn, and contribute to your community. And that's why I thought that it was okay to stay in my bubble. But for years, I was very involved with the schools, churches, and agencies in my community. I used to do volunteering um, a lot and participate in many social events as I could. I firmly believe that by doing so, I was teaching my daughters a few Christ-like character traits. So just having a servant heart, being responsible in taking care of our community, but most importantly, using those opportunities to share the gospel with people around us. It became something natural for our family. One of the biggest things I enjoy was helping first-time visitors at our church. I love walking alongside people that were not just new to the church, but new to the faith. I became very comfortable with the way I was carrying out the Great Commission, all inside my bubble. A place that I was familiar with, a place I felt safe, a place where I met people like me. I've learned that once you feel comfortable doing something, it is time to get uncomfortable. This is in order to be obedient to God's purpose for your life. It is time to pop your bubble. I believe God gives us a good lesson about this in the book book of Acts chapter 11. In this passage, we learn about Peter sharing the gospel with the Gentiles. These people were different from him. He was also visiting a place that might have been pretty uncomfortable for him. Peter was Uh, talking to people that were outside his bubble. Later, he is questioned by his peers about this unlawful act. He tells them that he is being obedient to God's command and sharing the gospel without reservation. As a result, the Gentiles receive the gift of salvation. Listen to this. When they heard this, They had no further objections and praised God, saying, So then, even Gentiles, God has granted repentance that leads to life. Acts 11.18 Before COVID, my family and I decided to get uncomfortable and pop up our bottle. Bubble. (laughs) Not our bottle. Our bubble. (laughs) 
We loaded our truck every single Sunday and drove very early in the morning to the opposite side of town. We brought Sunday school to a community that looked very different from ours. It was a place that looked nothing like our suburbs. We found children without any parental supervision. They were hungry and had never, ever heard of Jesus before. They were outside our bubble for sure. So if God gave them the same gift he gave us who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, who was I to think I could stand in God's way? Acts 11, 17. We had gotten uncomfortable a few other times after that. Sharing the gospel might be uncomfortable to us, but I strongly believe God honors that obedience and equips us with it. As Acts eleven fifteen says so, as I begin to speak, the Holy Spirit came onto them and he had come on us at the beginning. Through our uncomfort, he saves lives. How can you get uncomfortable today? Who can you share the good news with that does not share your bubble? What are you waiting for? Friends, I invite you to pop your bubble and get out there. Thank you so much for listening. By the way, this basic story was written by me, Anna Zugeri, and as I have the honor to be a devotional contributor for CBN, the Christian Broadcast Network, All Right Reserves, CBN 2023. I will place the link in the show notes if you would like to check it out in written form on their website. God bless you. Until next time.